In this video, we are discussing that how to create a chart of account in free agent accounting software. So that is a sample of journal ledgers which we need to create in free agent accounting software. So our first ledger is that is cash on hand. So how to create the cash ledger or the bank ledgers in free agent accounting software. So for that, we need to click on the banking tab. So that is an interface of free agent accounting software. So if you want to create uh, the cash account, if you want to create a petty cash account, or if you want to create a bank account in free agent. So for that, you need to click on the banking tab. And when you click on this banking tab here, you can connect your bank account online. And if you want to create uh, the cash account or the petty cash account, so then you need to drop down this new option. And here we have this option bank accounts. If you want to add your credit card, account, uh, credit card account, or if you want to attach, if you want to link your PayPal account also. So I want to create a cash account or a petty cash account here. So you're going to click this option, the bank account, click it. So when you click this here, you need to enter the name that is cash on hand. Tab. that is a currency, which is pound and the status is active. Okay. Now here you need to give this information. Either this is a personal account or you can also make this account as a primary. So this is not a personal account. And here you can enter that as a bank information that is optional detail the account number uh, Swift or the bank code and uh, that is what I uh, show these details on invoices so not applicable for this cash account and if you want to enter the opening balance so you can enter this opening balance which we you can also add it so right now I'm gonna enter the opening balance for this cash account for example it is 5,000 pound and I'm gonna save this so you have this option create new account so click this option create new account and our cash on hand, our cash account is created. So this is how you need to create a cash account in free agent accounting software. Similarly, I want, I want to create another, uh, that uh, jail account, which is, uh, the petty cash account. So again, you need to click here and select this bank account. And here you need to enter that is petty cash account. And we have the petty cash account also in the local currency, which is pound and the status is active. This is not for the personal use. And I'm going to enter the, uh, the opening balance. For example, it is 1,500 pound and I'm going to create this account. So click this. So this is how you are going to create. This is how we are creating this cash account or a petty cash account in free agent accounting software. Similarly, we have uh, if you want to create the bank accounts, so for example, we have a local bank, which is Royal Bank of Scotland, or I'm going to create two banks here, Royal Bank of Scotland and HSBC. So how to create this, uh, the bank account, same procedure. You need to click on the account uh, banking tab in the banking tab. We have this option, which is new, and you need to select this bank account. And here you're going to enter that is royal bank of scotland and the currency is pound status is active and i'm going to enter the opening balance for this bank account for example it is 200,000 and create new account so again you can click or you can click on this more also so click on this bank account and i'm going to create here hsbc and the currency is pound and you can enter this detail also the bank account number the, the complete name of the bank the account number a sort code or the bank code and then you can enter the picnic balance and you can save it so i'm going to enter here fifty thousand and create account so this is how you are going to create cash account petty cash account or the bank accounts in uh, free agent accounting software now, next step is that we need to create other ledgers now. So after this and uh, the cash or the petty cash of the bank accounts. So we need to create other ledgers in free agent. 
so how to create those uh, that uh, the expense or income account so for that you need to click on this settings you need to click on your company name and here we have this option which is settings so click on the settings scroll it down and in this option accounting tax and VAT here we have this option which is accounting categories so you need to click this accounting categories and this window this page will open and here you can see this is accounting categories and we have different accounting categories here we have income we have admin expenses cost of sales capital assets which is our fixed asset current asset liabilities and equity so if you want to create anything in the equity for example i'm, I'm, I'm going to create a uh, drawings account which is under the capital so here we have this option add new and you can you need to select the accounting category which is equity category and i'm going to create here drawings withdrawal or i'm going to enter honors honor drawings and then you need to click this option create category or if you want to create uh, create this category and add another one like uh, save and new so then you can select this option create and add another one so right now I'm gonna create only single uh, category which is honors drawings so you need to click this option create category so if you look here in the equity under the uh, this equity this honor drawings is created another most important thing you need to remember that whenever we created any accounting category if we created any ledgers it will come like this that is a custom category that is a symbol right and there are some built-in by default GL accounts already created by the free agents uh, free agent accounting software so it comes like this that is a lock category that is these are the built-in accounts we cannot add them we cannot delete them these are lock categories we cannot add them we cannot delete them and if we created some accounts by our, ourselves so it is coming by this symbol and we can add those account we can add it and we can delete those account also okay now next step is that uh, i'm going to create a uh, trade debtors these are the built-in account if you see uh, trade debtors under the current assets under the current assets these are our account receivable accounts so it's already there so that is our stock adjustment stock account it's already there so then for example i want to create uh, the fixed asset for example i'm going to create a land so how to create a capital asset how to create a fixed asset so for that you need to click here the capital asset tab right so these are the built-in default gl accounts default fixed assets already there here we don't have the land so i want to create a land gl account so you need to click here add new under the cap, uh, capital asset type and here you need to select land and then you need to click this option create capital asset type so when you click it look this is the the fixed asset the capital asset created by us so this is how you need to enter all your capital assets so again okay, so next after this capital asset if i if you want to create uh like prepaid insurance or prepaid rent right prepayment accounts so for that you need to click again that is current asset so under the current asset we have prepayment or this is uh, i already created this prepaid rent so for example i'm going to create prepaid insurance or advanced insurance so i'm going to click here add new that is under current asset category and under the current asset category here we have this prepaid insurance that is a nominal code you can also added this code you can add uh, your own nominal code but that is a standard uh, that nominal code so I'm gonna enter the same and the reporting type you need to enter so that is prepayments and accrued income so I'm gonna select this prepayment and accrued income and here you need to select this category which is uh, here you need to select this option which is create category so when you select this one uh, this uh, this new GL account is created with the name that is prepaid insurance and under the reporting type uh, under the head which is prepayments and accrued income okay after this if you want to create uh, trade creditors these are our accounts payable which is already created so no need to create them again 
uh, these are the provisions for liabilities. Provision for liabilities, we have like, I want to create salaries payable. So this, uh, this GL account, salaries for payable, it is coming under provisions for liability. So here you need to select add new and that is under liabilities. And here I'm going to create salaries payable account and the reporting type that is under provisions for liability. So this is how you will create all your current liabilities. Similarly, I'm going to create another one. Capital is already there, which is uh, if you go in the equity capital account is already there. So no need to create that is a built in default account already created by the free agent itself. And that is a sales account. Uh, sales account is already there. If you look, if you go in the income tab and income, we have the sales, which is by default. Uh, this is a built-in account already created by the free agents uh, free agent software itself. So no need to create another one Okay, for example, I'm gonna create uh, This electricity expense and I'm gonna enter this electricity expense under general maintenance So how to create this electricity expense? So you need to select this add new and select this uh, admin expense category and here you need to enter the description that is electricity expense that is a the account code uh, GL account number or nominal code and I'm gonna select the category here under which had that is journal maintenance and that is uh, uh, allow, uh, allowable for tax standard rate and I'm gonna create uh, this category so this is how you need to enter uh, the ledgers this is how you need to create a ledger in free agent accounting software so guys if you